Hey everyone, welcome to Battlefly and our guide on beginning to fly. Battlefly is an experimental Web3 game on the Arbitrum network, which is a layer 2 solution for the Ethereum blockchain. Each NFT is a unique game piece that you'll be able to use to battle other players in the Hyperdome and will also allow you to earn nectar through Racer. You can learn more about our game through the flight paper, which I'll link below. In this video, we'll go over bridging, obtaining magic, the marketplace, staking, unstaking, and getting started with Racer. Check the timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a certain section. This guide will be running under the assumption you already know what MetaMask is and have ETH. If you don't, there are many good guides on YouTube explaining how to get that set up. So we head on over to bridge.arbitrum.io and uh, you just input the amount that you want to bridge. So this is going to be going from layer one to layer two. You just hit deposit. Now this is the official Arbitrum bridge, but it can be a, a bit slow at times. So I personally like to use the hop exchange. So I'll just send some ETH over from the main net to Arbitrum, simple as that. Send it through. Make sure you accept all the pop-ups through your MetaMask browser. Confirm. And this will go through. Some exchanges like FTX, OKX, Binance allow you to deposit uh, directly from your exchange wallet to layer two. So you're able to skip the whole bridging process. Now you got to add the network to MetaMask. So back at the bridge.arbitrum.io site, there's a button up here at the top, add the L2 network. And this will allow the site to add the network to your MetaMask. So you just want to approve this and that'll switch the network. So now if you open up MetaMask, you're able to see that you have the Ethereum mainnet and Arbitrum 1. We're connected to Arbitrum 1. If you're on MetaMask Mobile, I do not believe the button's at the top of the Arbitrum 1 bridge site, but if you go to the tutorial, you'll be able to see the, the information that you need in order to add it to your MetaMask mobile device just by going to the settings, into networks, and then add network. Now that we've bridged ETH from mainnet to L2, we have to swap some ETH into magic, which is the token of our partner, Treasure Dow. To do this, we head to sushi.com. We'll enter the app. Let this load, maybe give it a refresh. Perfect. We'll, so we're swapping from ETH into magic. We'll get 10 of these guys. Hit swap. Confirm your swap. Confirm into MetaMask. Boom, and you're submitted. So you're going to want to add the magic to MetaMask to be able to view the asset inside of your browser. So you click add token there, dismiss. Now, when you go into your assets tab, you're able to see ETH and magic. Now, say you forgot to hit that button, you can hit this import tokens right here and I'll put the contract address and the token symbol and decimal in the description for you. Great, so now we have our magic. Let's go check out the marketplace where we can trade our NFTs. We'll go to trove.treasure.lol. You'll connect your wallet in the top right here. And after you're connected, it'll show your layer two ETH balance and your magic balance. There's a couple different ways to find the Battlefly collections, and that's explore the treasure collections denominated in magic. Here we are right here on the side. You can scroll through the collections down here, or simply type in Battlefly in the search bar. We actually have three collections currently. We have the Battleflies, the V1 Founders, and the V2 Founders. The V1 and V2 Founders NFTs are not game pieces. To learn more about these and the perks that they give, 
uh, feel free to check out their section in our flight paper. For now, let's just go check out the game pieces. There's a few things to take note of here, and that's the, the class, the rarity, and whether it's a drone or if it's a cocoon. Now, there's two different classes. There's the original and the addition. Any that say original are one of our randomly generated wing arts made by our team, and any that say addition are one of over 50 season one collab partners that have custom wing art that was designed by their teams. And then if you search by rarity, it ranges from common all the way up to artifact. You will never be able to hatch an artifact from a cocoon, but as you go up in rarity tiers, they give additional stat bonuses at the start of the game. So if you want a minor advantage, be sure to pick up an uncommon or higher. And then as far as the hatched battlefly drones versus the cocoons, one of the benefits, potential benefits at least, of buying a cocoon is that you could hatch an epic, a legendary, a rare, an uncommon, and get it for less than you would pay for a rare or an epic. And then to buy, you simply click, click buy now and follow through the different transactions. Okay, we've got our magic and we've got our drone or cocoon. Now we want to get staked. You're going to head to play.battlefly.game. You're going to connect your wallet, sign the message, and enter the site. Here in Mission Control, if you bought a Battlefly drone, you'll be able to see it here under Battlefly in the Holding tab. Or if you bought cocoons, you'll be able to see it under the Cocoons tab in the Holding section. So I'm going to stake both of these. Stake, stake. And I'll pop both of them up on the same, on the right side over here. And as you can see, each cocoon or drone that you stake requires five magic to be staked alongside of it. And you are not paying magic, you are only staking the magic. So once you unstake, you will get that magic back into your wallet. So your first time staking, you will need to approve three different transactions. The very first one, right here it says approve magic to stake cocoons go ahead and click that and it's asking to give your permission to access the magic from your wallet you're going to confirm this and then the second transaction it's going to ask for is to approve the actual staking contract and allow access to your nfts so you're going to go ahead and confirm that one and then lastly, you're going to stake. And there we are. If we go over to the staking tab, here we are. We'll see that they're both staked. Now, if you do buy cocoons, this is an extra step that you will have to take. Anybody that buys a drone that's already hatched will not have to do this. You, want, you will want to click reveal your cocoons. Guess we'll need to wait a few moments. So we'll try again. Reveal, reveal. We'll get this really cool animation to play. After you wait a few minutes, if it gives you that error like it gave to me, uh, just refresh the page and come back in. Now to unstake, it's as simple as clicking the unstake button right here. Scroll down, confirm. And you're unstaked. Voila. Now to, to play racer, you do have to actually have a staked revealed fully revealed battlefly so 
go ahead and stake this guy right here. Add him to the staking list. Confirm. Here we are staked, and we can see my staked Battlefly in the staking tab. And now we're ready to give Racer a try. To start racing, we're going to navigate to this drop down menu at the top. Just head on over to Racer. Once it loads up, you'll be able to see the main menu. Currently, there are two ways to play. The daily race will be the same track for all players that lasts a day. Each Battlefly drone you have staked will give you five daily races. With these races, you'll be able to compete with other players for top spots on the leaderboards and earn nectar, which will be used for a number of things in the future. These races and the course reset every day at UTC0. Free play is a different randomly generated map for each run, just to practice. You won't be able to place on the leaderboard or, or earn nectar in here. I like to use this just to warm up my mechanics before I start using my dailies. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to hop in Discord and ping Shuttlesworth, JRock, or any of the mods for help. I'll leave links in the description for all websites visited in this guide. Thanks for flying with us, and good luck racers!